here we are working on the 6.5 turbo diesel blazer I just pulled the intake manifold off of it the intake is laying behind me you can see I undid the long bolts to hold the intake down they're all 15 millimeter Use a deep socket and air gun on most of them. Couldn't save this bad boy. Look at the dirt in the injection pump. So that's what we're doing, changing the injection pump. The intake is off. Gaskets are there. I was checking the fuel pressure. This is your inlet pipe to the injection pump. From the filter line runs up underneath I have it run into this 15 psi fuel pressure gauge for carburetor gasoline whatever I tee it in and I read the fuel pressure at the injection pump when cranking and running this one had a new lift pump on it good fuel pressure it had a problem where it didn't have enough fuel pressure it would drop off right away because the pump couldn't draw from the tank the tank was full of rust the sock was all clogged with uh, old waxy diesel fuel and what had happened to this truck is it sat they changed the fuel filter when they pulled the fuel filter out Inside the bottom of the old fuel filter was the white plastic coupling that goes down in the filter housing. They stuck the new filter in. The filter assembly didn't, the filter itself did not seal, and all the dirt went through the filter into the feed line up through here and filled up your injection pump with rusty dirt now there is a screen at the bottom of this fitting you unthread this it's tight still you unthread this and there's a screen but what happened was the fuel pressure was good enough from the lift pump it blew the dirt past the screen and as you can see it went into the injection pump I don't know how this thing was running so i'm pulling the intake going to change out the injection pump started pulling everything apart so i piece in to show you the fastest way to do it on the lines you'll see these two are connected You have to undo this one. And you actually you want to crack them all loose, okay? But being as this one and this one run together, you'll see this one's pushed over a little bit. I first use a 19 millimeter um, uh, 19 millimeter wrench to crack the top ones loose but you can't get this on all of them so then what I did and I've had these for a while I took an old S and K 12 point and I cut the end out of it yes I used a good one because you want it to stay together and not spread apart that is how I cracked this lower one loose right here what you have to do to get these two off together okay that's how you start is you loosen all of them on the top 
it down to this one. You take it, you take the nut completely off. That gives you the room to slip past it with this wrench on the nut. And when you crack it, you bend this line over. Okay? And that's why it's a little out of shape now. But that's okay. It's a hard steel line. All you end up doing then when you put it back together, stick your wrench in there and bend it back into shape so it goes back into your injection pump fitting. Now that these top two are off, you can get to this one, you can get to the lower one, you can get to the rest of them. You have to take the lines off at the injectors so that way you can move them out of the way. And then I'll start unbolting the pump from the timing cover. And I'll show you that. Here we are working on the 6.5 turbo diesel again. I'm undoing the last few injector lines on this thing. Getting the lines at the bottom here with the special wrench. But once all the other lines are off, then you can get these ones down here at the very bottom. And You'll notice over on the passenger side, I didn't bother taking the turbo off. I just undid the shield. And then was able to get injectors off over here. And notice I undid the big plugs back there at the firewall and unplugged the harness. Get it up here out of your way. I'm about to take the last seven injector lines off. You'll notice this rig, -a rig up where somebody put this long extension PMD extension wire hardwired it in or something trying to make an extension I was always le leery about it but it seemed to work the truck ran so if it wasn't broke I didn't fix it They extended this thing homemade like with all this wire to try and get to the front bumper I thought it was kind of ridiculous so that's coming off with the old injection pump and the new pumps going back to the factory wire and the PMD will be located uh, right on the top of the intake where they function fine all right Last line set was just unbolted from the bottom of the pump.